Three months ago, Pixar announced Luca, set to be the studio's next film following this year's Soul. Previously, all we'd seen from Luca was a single piece of concept art, but now, thanks to a surprise reveal on a new Disney Plus series, we've got our first detailed looks at a number of the film's characters, along with a small insight into the production design of the film. Before we get into this, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It does wonders in getting my content out there. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to keep up to date with all my content like this. Inside Pixar is Disney Plus's latest documentary series, which similar to the platform's earlier One Day at Disney, is presented as short 12 to 16 minute episodes, each focusing on a different artist in a different division of the company. In the series' second episode, titled The Art of Pivot, focusing on character art director and designer Diana Marcialis, the studio has given us a surprise first look into Luca, as throughout the episode, we treated to a number of really wonderful pieces of concept art. Marci Ellis, who is of Italian heritage, revealed in the episode that herself and a number of artists undertook a research trip to Cinque Terre on the Italian Riviera to explore and correct inspiration with cameras and sketchbooks. Luca is of course set on the Italian Riviera and is set to focus on a boy named Luca as he experiences an unforgettable summer in a seaside town. In a story inspired by the childhood of director Enrico Casarone, Rosa, the director of Pixar's 2011 short film La Luna. Marzieles noted that she was focused on the people, watching them 24-7. So naturally, much of the artwork that is seen in this documentary shows character designs, including these of a pair of elderly Italian nonnas who were designed in a typical Pixar caricature design. It honestly recalls visions of Coco to me. We can also see a number of pieces of background concepts and photos likely taken on the research trip. This image also reveals a look at the character of Luca himself. Luca is set to be a coming of age story about one young boy experiencing an unforgettable summer filled with gelato, pasta and endless scooter rides. Luca shares these adventures with his newfound best friend but all the fun is threatened by a deeply held secret. He is a sea monster from another world just below the water's surface. In the revealed artwork we not only get multiple looks at Luca in human form but we also get our first looks at the character in sea monster form as well, seeing him as a cute green guild amphibian. We see a number of different designs in different art mediums, showing a really fantastic look into the design process of the character. There's even what appears to be either a number of alternate designs or designs for other sea creature characters. We even get a great look at the character in digital form in this comparison of Sea Monster Luca vs Human Luca, dated 25th of January 2019. So they've been working on this one for quite a while. I have to say I really love the artwork that's coming out of this and it's only fueling my excitement for the film. The designs are so beautifully Pixar. They're cute and stylish but not too cartoony or outlandish. And again from what we're seeing here the visual design of this film is going to look very similar to the design that came out of Coco which I think is only a great thing. It's worth noting that these are simply concepts and the final designs could be vastly different so Pixar could be throwing us a massive curly one right here but if the final design is anything like this I'm completely sold already. Pixar's Luca is set to open in cinemas in late 2021. If you'd like to keep up to date with all the biggest cartoon news, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more regular installments like this. And if you're keen on diving deep into the history of all your favourite animated characters, don't forget to check out my continuing Cartoon Evolution series linked at the end of the video. And at that, I'm throwing it over to you. I want to know, are you liking what you're seeing from Lucas so far? Or do you need to see more to get excited? Fire away down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Hey everyone, if you haven't yet, smash that big old subscribe button up on your screen to keep up to date with all my content and hit that like button down below. Also don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month for exclusive videos, early access content and to get your name up on the screen. Thanks again for watching.